This is against the body. So forefoot, don't cover toes right here because you don't want this to swell up right there. This is used for edema, swelling. Be very neat. So I like to do twice around my, my, my forefoot, midfoot, twice. And then I like to do my figure eight to give them some stability. So you're gonna bring her up and do a figure eight around that ankle, come down, down to your midfoot again, wrap it around. Keep your ankle, let it do what it wants to do, All right? Now here, start your folds, right? That folds allow that if there is some type of compression or anything like that, and this is zinc, it's a healing agent for wounds and things like that, right? So I like to tell it to the patient that it's like a soft cast, so it hardens up. So when you do your folds, keep it nice. And fold again. Keep it neat because it hardens up. It could actually break skin if it gets hard. So let me show you how to keep it nice and neat. The tighter you keep this with you, right? And you kind of fold it. So you gotta go this way. Keep your folds together. Right? It's an awkward position here. Because this bed doesn't come all the way up. Go around your ankle, I mean your calc. Nice and neat. Work it around. Nice and neat. So I like to say like a 25% coverage on the foot itself. And then as you work your way up, 50% coverage. You see, 50% coverage. And then you can go. And go around. 50% coverage. Lean. And you work it all the way up. Go. Grab it. I need to grab it out. So if you have a very, very large leg, right? and you need to use another one, you, wherever you finish off at is where you go again. If you have a nice little thing leg like this one and you have enough left, I, you could either cut it and finish it off there or you could just use it. I kind of just you'd like to use it. I always like to do it with the patient's leg hanging because then it lets you know where the bending is at. It's a messy solution, so don't get it on your scrubs because it doesn't like to come out. The same thing for our chairs like that. So doing the folds allow that if they're swelling, it'll allow the compression to, to open up. Over time, you, you'll get faster, right? Speed comes with time. And then you'll keep doing that, yep, just right there where you feel their bone and work it back down. So take 52 because I've recorded this a bazillion million times, but here you see that she is using a conforming gauze, also known as cling, to do a figure eight wrap up the extremity. And if you find yourself that you're finishing up with the cling that you have, just grab another one. And what we recommend is, is where you finish off is where you start to continue to wrap it up the leg. You can cut off any extra if it's necessary, or you can finish off the row if you like. Then you're gonna use Coban, which is a compression bandage. And you're gonna start also at the forefoot of your foot and work your way up. You don't have to stress so much about doing a figure eight because it's hard to manipulate this type of bandage. Also, don't try to compress it too much. You wanna kind of pull a little and then lay it down and continue to pull and lay it down. And your coverage should be about 50% coverage up the extremity. And then you continue to pull it down and lay it down. And this is used for swelling, typically, is the reason why we apply Unaboo. And that's all, folks.